Hi guys, welcome to another short video of a Marine Technical Training Academy. Today we are going to learn the process to reverse the rotation in a DC motor. For example, uh, the motor for bow thrusters, the motor for windlass. We are going to check how you reverse the rotation using the solenoid control box or using a couple of automotive relays. This is a nice video, check the video. This is a typical DC motor uh, with a reversible um, rotation. Uh, if you check the motor, the motor has the negative in the middle and two positives, two positives. Depending if the current, the positive current is entering here, the motor rotates clockwise. If the positive current is entering here, the motor rotates counterclock. Ah, depending where is entering the positive, the motor rotates in one or other. Ah, internally is because this motor have a double winding, double winding. Uh, of course, this is a heavy motor. This particular motor is for 100 amps. Um, okay, uh, 100 amps is a lot of amps. Okay, we are going to use, in order to reverse the rotation, this equipment. This equipment is a solenoid control box. This is the solenoid control box. The solenoid control box have three big terminals. Those three big terminals are three positives. This is the positive in the middle coming in. That, that, that power is coming from the battery, from the switch selector. And this is positive coming in, and this is positive coming out, and positive coming out. This is positive coming out for clockwise rotation, and this is positive coming out for counterclock rotation. And I need send the signal to activate this position, or I need send the signal to activate the other position. Okay, the signals, the signals for clockwise or counterclock are coming from this toggle switch, single single. The input is in the middle, the input, the positive, is coming from the battery, enter in the middle, and I have one possibility, rotate clockwise, or rotate counterclock. The only that I need is bring the signal here or bring the signal here in order to send the power over there or send the power over there. In order to do that switch of rotation, I use the solenoid control box. Where I found that this type of equipment installed in my boat, this is for example uh, the windlass. You found it exactly the same for a bow thruster. You found it exactly the same for hydraulic central units, for hydraulic actuators, up and down. It's a reversible DC motor controlled by a solenoid control box and the switches. Oh, this switch, uh, this, this one could be the joystick of uh, the bow thruster. Or this one could be the foot pedals uh, for the anchor, yeah? I replace for those switches, but you can replace those switches for momentary switches up and down or for a joystick for bow thruster. The procedure is exactly the same. Uh, how is the diagnosis to check this unit? The diagnosis is simple. In this particular case, I have the perfect scenario because in this particular case, the solenoid control box is not working. It's damaged. If you check, those are the controls, the blue one for one direction, the yellow one for the other direction, and the red one coming, the power coming from the middle, from the, from the switch selector. In this particular case, it's not working, but I need to verify where is the problem. If the problem is on the motor, or if the problem is on the solenoid control box, or if the problem is on the switch. This is, this is the switch that I put in this particular case, a manual switch, but uh, this switch can be the foot pedals uh, for, for the windlass uh, on the pulpit, or a uh, uh, switch like this, momentary switch. All right, let me verify if the problem is on the motor. If I bring power directly to this point at this point from the battery and, uh, and, the, and, the, and the motor start, it's because the motor is in good condition. Let me bring, with a big cable, I bring power directly from the positive boost bar, directly into this point. 
This is good for one direction and good for the other direction. The motor is in good condition because I bring power directly with a big cable, battery cable, directly from the positive of the battery, directly into the positive, each terminal positive of the motor. My motor is okay. My electric motor is good. Let me verify if, um, if I bring power directly from, uh, from the battery into, into each output of the solenoid control box is okay. Let me verify. That's okay. Oh, the output of the solenoid control box, the terminal between this and this is okay, and this and this is okay. Let me check the signal. Oh, that's the problem. And the other one. Let me I go into the switch. Oh, the problem is not the switch. The problem is not the, 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 the hardness in between the switch and the solenoid control box. The problem is internally the solenoid control box. What is the solution? I need to replace the solenoid control box or replace the solenoid control box for a couple of relays like this. And I am going to connect, in this particular case, in parallel, this with this, to demonstrate that with the relays, is good. How I connect the relays? Once again, in the middle, in between both relays, I receive the power from the batteries. I receive the power in the middle. And from one side of the relays, I enter in con corner clock uh, rotation. From the other side of the relays, I go into the clockwise rotation. And this relay receives the signal from the switch or foot pedal, and the other one receives the signal from the other side. Ah, with the relays, the system is working. With the solenoid control box, it's not working. In that case, I can replace this for this. The only that I need to take in consideration is be careful with the capacity of the relays because the capacity of the relay should be equal to the capacity of the control box in amps. That, that's it. This is the process. And you can replace that solenoid control box for a couple of relays. This is the simple process to connect the windlass, like uh, the diagram that we have on the screen right now.